What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and this time it's a character guide focused around Krillin. Let's start by taking a look at Krillin's special moves and seeing how they can be applied in different ways. Up first we have the classic After Image Strike. The main gimmick behind this move is that if you just press the button quickly, Krillin will take the place of the After Image and perform a kick, but if you hold the button Krillin will stay in the position and the version of him that's performing the kick will disappear. The light version doesn't go as far, the medium version covers a lot of distance, and the heavy version comes with the advantage of when on the ground, Krillin will dash forward making the mix-up a bit scarier. This move can actually be applied a lot of different ways. Of course there's the whole mix-up aspect of whether Krillin's going high or whether he's just going to run in and perform a low, but you can also use the after image technique in the air to keep your opponent guessing on what moves you're going to take and how close you're going to end up next to them. Up next we have Krillin's Kamehameha. Of course it being a beam it's very good at keeping your opponent at bay, and Krillin's Kamehameha is especially good for this as he can hold it for a long duration of time or he can release it quickly. He can also jump with it or double jump. He can also perform the Kamehameha in the air and then hold it until he gets to the ground. Overall it's very useful at keeping your opponent at bay and making them want to block. The next special move Krillin has is his Solar Flare which is probably his least useful but it does have a big hitbox and you can cancel it instantly into specials. Solar Flare is also used a lot in some crazy Sparking Blast combos, so when you're getting really optimal with Krillin, it'll probably come more into play. His last special move is his Rock Toss, which surprisingly is actually pretty decent when you get a hard knockdown on your opponent. You can throw the rock to prevent them from doing any risky attacks on their wake up. Moving on to his super moves, we have Krillin's level 1, the Destructo Disc. Not only does a single Destructo Disc do a lot of damage, you can also opt to spend more bars by clicking the light attack over and over again to have Krillin throw more Destructo Disc, limiting itself at a maximum of 5. Krillin's level 3 is of course a standard beam super, but with the twist that he can bend it up and bring it back down, doing a crazy amount of damage to the opponent. Something to keep in mind with his level 3 is that Krillin's going to bend that beam regardless if it hits the opponent or if the opponent blocks it. And if your opponent does block it, they will have enough time to punish you with whatever move they choose to. So remember to play it safe with this level 3. Now let's talk about Krillin's Key Blast move. When on the ground and you click special, Krillin will fire two Key Blasts. If you click special again, Krillin will bend the beams up bringing them back down a set distance away. If you perform this move in the air, he'll fire the same two blasts, but if you click it a second time, he'll bend them down instead of up. It's possible to hit your opponent with the first key blast and then bend the second one up, which can lead to some pretty crazy combos, but I'm not gonna lie to you and say I'm a talented enough player to do that, so here's a very poor combo showing off the general idea of that. Before we go any farther, let's talk about Krillin's weaknesses. And for the most part, what he suffers from the most is his short, stubby arms. You'll see that you have to be extremely close to get Krillin's moves to hit, and when you go up against a character like Android 16, you'll really feel this size difference. This can be seen in Krillin's down heavy or 2H. He needs to be extremely close to the enemy character if he's going to land this, as the hitbox is just his tiny little fist, as opposed to Goku who gets his whole body and he takes a step forward, and let's not even mention Goku Black. But yes, it's very important to keep in mind that Krillin has very short arms and you're going to need to adjust to that in your offense. Before we get to the block strings and combos, I want to take a minute to talk about Krillin and how he's able to get a hard knockdown for the cost of one bar. So you'll see here in this example when I fire the beam and vanish behind him, I do the magic series, but I'm not able to get the hard knockdown as I already used my vanish to do that. But you'll see that in this next combo, when I use my key blast and then follow it with a heavy after image strike, I do get the hard knockdown on Frieza, which basically means that I get to continue my pressure, which is something that's super important to winning games. So it's important to remember that if you really need a hard knockdown, you can always just fire that key blast and go into the heavy after image strike. Now we can move on to the block strings. Basically these are what you do when you notice that your jabs have been blocked and you want to keep yourself safe. So for Krillin the very basic one is light, light, down medium, medium, Key Blast Kamehameha. You can also add your heavy attack into that, and once you do this to your opponent a couple times and get them in the swing of things, you can start mixing things up with your assist and after image strike, even throwing in a down special here and there. Now let's move on to Krillin's combos. So for his basic one you have your standard magic series. This does get the hard knockdown and has some decent corner carry, so if you land a hit in the middle of the arena this is usually what you want to do. Once you have your opponent in the corner though when you land a hit, you can do something much more damaging that looks like this. Of course in order to do the second part you need an assist, but it doesn't have to be a beam assist. I show that here with Yamcha. Of course this combo doesn't get you the hard knockdown, but you can easily fix that with what I was talking about earlier. You'll see here that after I get the second knockout, I pull a couple punches and then do the key blast and the heavy attack, which allows me to get the hard knockdown, which you can follow up with a special or you can just continue pressure. Just make sure that when you're doing the after image strike, you don't hold it unless you're more interested in looking like the world's best magician instead of winning the match. 
I wanted to leave this guide nice and short for you all so that you can have something nice and easy to go out and start playing Krillin. I know there's still a lot left to find with this character, and hopefully you guys can get out there in the training mode and find it. I'll put these combos again at the end of the video and put the notation there as well if you want to try to follow along. Anyway, if you want to see a guide from me about another character, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below, as I'll be down there as always. While you're down there, if you like this video and channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.